October day 16. Whoosh, look at that beautiful sun. Wow. Look how pretty that sun is on the flowers. What is happening? Do you need help down there? Excuse me? Are you coming up? Hey! Hey! What happened to not doing that without me? Oh, now you're going down? Yeah? Yeah? You can't do that without me. Because he was watching TV? You can smell that from Mars, baby. Good boy. Um, oh my god. Do you know how many people have commented on the last yesterday's vlog that they thought it was um, "Don't be afraid to catch fish" as well? <laughs> no, it's no, it's really serious. So many people are like, "Oh my god, I thought that too." Well, he's really upset because he has one sock on. Uh, <laughs> what you doing? Daddy, yeah, your daddy. He's upset because his dad's in the shower and he's not allowed to go in the shower with him right now. They have showers together all the time, don't you? It's the boys club. No bite. Hey. The boys club. But I'm gonna give him a bath tonight, so a proper soak in a bath and play with your toys. What are the plans today, kiddo? What are the plans? Freaking determination. <gasps> Can I have it, please? Can mommy have it? Oh, thanks! Oh my gosh! That's so helpful! Thanks! Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's totally helpful. Do it again, Matty. What did you do? What? Uh, mm -hmm. sure. Are you showing me sticking out your tongue? W wiggle your toe. Puppets? Mm. I mean, if this has happened to any of you, like, mums out there, maybe new mums or whatever, my husband just got so angry at me, like, just screamed at me and just like left and went to work because I screamed in like shock because Mussy like grabbed something like grabbed the side of something really heavy on the table and went to pull it and it looked like it was gonna fall and my husband was like standing there but he didn't look like he was going he didn't see that he was doing it so I screamed in panic which then made my husband like freak out and scream in panic and pull Mussy back. But, and then he was just like, why did you scream like that? I was like, because I thought he was gonna pull it. Like, I thought he was gonna hurt himself. Like I have nightmares that, you know, he's gonna do that. Maybe that's just being a new mum, but you know, babies, it's, it's really difficult to continuously watch your toddler, I suppose, and they're into everything, as you know, if you're a mum, you know that, obviously. But it, I think that's the thing, like, that's definitely my husband's personality, is if you scare him, it like, he's like, don't scare me! He's like, he's fine! And I was like, he, he, he was gonna pull it on his head, he's like, don't! Do that, you always do that, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm just trying to think of like tricks to stop myself from doing that. I'm I'm a pretty calm mum, I feel like, but with things like that, I I just get so scared. And his family, it's so funny because his sisters are all the same, like they jump and panic at anything in it. And it I know what that feeling's like because you're like, oh my god, and then it scares the other person. It's a pretty common occurrence. Somebody asked me, don't I get sick of eating the same thing over and over again? 
and I'm a massive creature of habit. So not really. Oh, we'll teach um, you yes, all of this knowledge. Why did they buy a lab? They bought it. She's wanted a lab for so so long. A chocolate blue-eyed mm. lab. <laughs> no. You did it. No. We're going to the park. We're going to the park now, not your car. Come on, got to go to the park. tissue box make someone so happy. <laughs> oh, Lane's got the hospitals. Okay, bye. Mummy's going to fix her nail now. See you. See you next time. Bye. Okay, don't shed a tear. Okay, the events of this day, you guys, has been nothing short of entertaining, shall we say entertaining my friend Victoria came over this morning and we went to the park with our boys she has a little boy too same age a little bit older than Mussy three weeks we went to the park with him the park was packed and really really hot and we didn't want the boys to sit in the swings in the Sun so we left and we were putting the boys in the car Victoria's like oh who smashed into your car and I was like what and the back, my one of my rear lights has been blown out. Obviously, someone's reversed into my car in a parking lot, and just my bad luck, they just smashed my car and drove off. So, yay. I get in to do my nail, and then mum calls me for Mussy, who's having his reflux attack. And, yeah, so it's just been back-to-back, uh, -back, really. And, um, yeah, so now I'm hopefully going to go get this nail done, and we're all good. I'm so behind today you guys I'm really really sorry for this it's just been to be honest it's actually just been really quite a crazy nightmare of a day just been really up and down inconsistent I'm totally not going to even even be able to get to questions today uh, I did see a few questions and some lovely lovely comments from my last video yesterday you guys are so supportive and amazing I just want to do a quick feature on this because you guys, honestly, and you know that when I say honestly or truthfully, I mean it. This strap has changed my game for this bag, especially. And that's probably not even possible because you know how much I love this bag. But the actual strap on a pochette Matisse, well, the monogram, I don't, I'm not sure about reverse if it's soft. But the Pochette Matisse's canvas strap is really, really hard. It's like a whip. Um, it doesn't fold like so. Like if it was sitting here, the canvas, it would be like that. Do you know what I mean? Because it's hard. This XL reverse strap is phenomenal. Firstly, it is so soft. It is probably, um, I want to say on this setting, which is the second hole, it's probably the same drop as it's probably a little bit longer than my boy bag but it's it it does sit a little bit cropped it's a bit high but I've got two more options uh, to adjust it to if I wanted it to sit lower so this is the XL all the other bandoliers are not adjustable so if you get like the hot pink backing on the regular monogram or the black backing on the regular monogram it's not adjustable the XL is what's adjustable hence the reason it's a little bit more uh, but this is what comes in the reverse option and I knew I wanted reverse because that's what I wanted it for is to have a pop of reverse But it is such a beautiful strap one con and that it's because it is this um, One and a half inch width if you are a pure shoulder girl wearer it may slip off your shoulder especially if you have petite shoulders it may slip off your shoulder I'm not gonna lie but crossbody is phenomenal and I'm just really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it because it's so soft and so, like, it's enjoyable to use. Does that make sense? We have a nail. Completed. That is good. It is about three and I feel like an ice latte. So I pinched these from my mother-in-law's house. 
Alrighty, so the way I do this is that Nat, Nat, keeps, <laughs> keeps her uh, Starbucks cups, like the plastic ones, not the um, cardboard ones. Uh, this is a venti cold cup, so I have kept it, and this is filled half with ice. Whenever I get a Starbucks drink, I always ask for extra ice, just because I really love lots of ice in drinks. So this is a venti. Okay, so in that, I just added some light milk. You saw me pour it in, so I just filled it up probably an extra quarter with light milk. And um, you don't need to do that. The ice will melt, but I want to drink it right now. And I'm just pouring melted condensed milk into it to make, like, that's the sweetener rather than putting sugar, which, I mean, it's not good. Condensed milk is really probably the worst thing for you. We'll just give that a bit of a stir. Kind of looks like um, Vietnamese iced coffee. I guess that's essentially what it is, but using vanilla pods. All right, taste test time. Okay, we ready? Well, it tastes delicious because all the sweetened condensed milk, can you see that? It is like clotted on the bottom. Very nice. Ooh, okay, we're going to pick up Soupy. We're going to pick up Masupil. That is Masi's nickname. We're going to pick him up from Jill's house. He's been there this afternoon. And my husband and I lead the same way. Like we go down into our garages the same way. <clears throat> and every time we go down into like our basement, no crap, there is some sort of little critter. I told you we live in the bush. And there is some sort of little critter somewhere around. Just, <laughs> just then, I didn't film it because it was kind of scary. There was a centipede slash scorpion looking thing at the bottom of the stairs. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Okay, thanks. My husband didn't get rid of it. He is such a chicken. It is so lucky that I am like an outback ranger and will happily like guillotine a snake if I have to. See, I've grown up in the bush. He hasn't, you know? These Middle Eastern boys, they don't like to do that sort of stuff. Like he will squeal if he sees a spider. No joke. <laughs> Look at my tired little boy. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay, say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're waving. Look at his hands. Mm. Waving bye, guys. See you. Good way. <laughs> That was low key wave. Telly. Low key wave while watching <coughs> Peppa Pig. Mussy's <laughs> poo! Mussy's poo stings! Oh! Oh! Mussy's poo! Mussy's poo! Oh! Yuck! It's stinking out the car! Come on, let's dump it somewhere. Mussy's poo home. Mussy's <laughs> poo! <laughs> Someone's gonna have the hiccups really bad now. Really bad now. Alright, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!